Now, have you ever wondered what happened to the magic sponge? It's all high tech these days. One physio who's seen more changes than most is Stockport's Roger Wilde. He joined County in 1988 and he's now the league's longest server. His sponge would make a fortune on the Antiques Roadshow. Late kickoff, spent an evening with him. Hi, my name's Roger Wilde, physio for Stockport County, and uh, we've got a game tonight, and you boys are here to have a look at us. Right, just quickly run through the running on bag, which I will take with me. Uh, gloves in case we get a bleed. Wash anything down if we need to. A bit of uh, toweling to mop any blood up for a, a cut. And uh, we have a nice piece of kit here. If we get a broken nose, we take this out of the pack. It's like a little lollipop stick. Uh, we trim it, put some Otravine on and ram it right up the player's nose. It doesn't like it. If you, if you see us actually use it, you'll see him wince when it goes up. Uh, that expands, soaks up the blood and helps to stop it quickly. Yeah, yeah, be careful, be careful. Don't block my view. I wish I got that one. Oh, I got that one. Hey, hey, bully, bully. Tell the gaffer to get someone warmed up. Yes. Johnny, Johnny, you've got 12 minutes, yeah? We'll have a look at half time. Hey, if you're struggling, you give us a shout. Bring your legs around. Yeah. You were struggling, weren't you? Then back, then back, then back, then back. Tighten your quads, mate. How you feeling? Yeah, okay, relax, relax. Do you want to stick a, some ice on your eyes or no? I'll, uh, I'll just go and tell the gaffer. He, he's, he sprained his knee, his knee ligament, his medial collateral ligament. I, I knew it out there and I, I wasn't happy with him kind of breathing system that he stayed on, but he's, he's struggling with it. He's uh, sprained the, his medial collateral ligament of his knee and he'd done that, he did it. I knew he'd done it out there, but he was just so insistent he carried on, so I wasn't happy. That's why I stayed over there and watched him and uh, just assessed him again in there and he's, he's, got to, he's got to come off there. Otherwise that would just get worse and it'd be out even longer than what he would be if we, we take him off now. So I just told the gaffer. What's that like? And what's that like? Hey, are you struggling? It's easy enough. Yeah, it was easing up all the time there, he said, yeah. Tested him, not nowhere near like Johnny's. No, that's, that's not bad, really. It's nice to do something. Um, not necessarily nice to get uh, an injury that a player's going to be out for maybe three weeks. But um, that's what's happened with Johnny with the medial collateral ligament of the knee. Uh, I thought we got another one with Paul Turnbull, second half, but when I assessed him, he was fine. And when he went back on, he was much better. So that, that turned out okay. And now what are you going to do? Try and get warm and then um, tell the lads what time they're going to be in tomorrow. Uh, or the injured lads, anyway. And, um, and then go home and go to bed. Well, guys, apart from the stick up the nose, it all looks a bit high tech. <laughs> Keith, how's it changed since since your playing days? Certainly, I can remember Roger when I was stopped as a player. You know, he used to just be uh, get the old ice pack on, and obviously now everything's all technical, yeah. and uh, you, have, you have a scan every time you get an injury. But Roger was a good physio; he used to run you three times a day, so he never wanted to be injured. Uh, whether he's changed in that, I don't know. Difficult job, isn't it? You've got to diagnose that on the run. And what a good runner, by the way! He looked like a gazelle, didn't he? Coming I'm on sure the pitch, he's done a few marathons, you know, in his time, Roger. Yeah. So. Um, I bet the players there don't want to be injured too often. Have you ever often. had a stick up the nose, Keith? No, no, no thank God, no. 